Here we are with another interesting spot on Hole in the Rock Road to explore. This is Cave Point. There are several interesting features. There's large alcoves, there's huge potholes, there's even a spring on the north hand side. Your starting point for this hike is also at the same spot that the trailhead is for 50 Mile Creek. This is 47 and a half miles down Hole in the Rock Road off of Highway 12. Before climbing to the top, walk around the bottom and explore the base. Hiking at the bottom can be challenging at times. Between the loose sand and the brush, sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle to get through. As you hike around the base, you'll start coming across old graffiti from the early 1900s. And here again is our friend Kenny G. Looks like he was here on December 25th, Christmas Day, 1922. And just a little bit further on, he scratched his name here again. Don't pass by the alcoves. Some of them will be a challenge to get to, but you'll find some interesting things in them. Here we have some stones that were modified slightly by the Native Americans. Supposedly the lines are from when they were sharpening either their spears or their knives or some other tool. This one I'm not really sure about. It was pecked on quite a bit, but I really don't know what the purpose was of it. I finished exploring the bottom. Now let's climb to the top and let's see what's up there. While they're navigating across the top and enjoying the view, you do want to be careful. Between the cliffs where all the alcoves are, there's also a lot of very large potholes. There's no getting out of these if you fall into them and if you're up there by yourself. And even if you're up there with some friends, you're going to need some climbing gear to get out. So just be careful. All right, with those warnings out of the way, let's go explore this rock.
Whoops, gonna need my camera. This was like a giant sidewalk up here. In order to get a lot of these shots, I have to set up a camera and then go walk to wherever the other side is and then set up another camera, then walk back and get the first camera. So that's what I'm doing here, is uh, I walk to here, set up the camera, now I'm walking all the way back to get the first camera, and then I'm coming back. <laughs> Well, I'm almost out. I didn't pick a very good way to come out. This has no easy way down. There's a little tiny ledge that you have to go across right here. And there's a drop off to my left that's about 20 feet. I wasn't really sure if I could make it or not. Well, here it goes. I'm either gonna slip and fall or... So this dropped me down into Cave Springs. Figured I'd check it out, see how much water was there in case I needed water. This would be a good spot if you needed to top off some water bottles. This little draw where the springs are has graffiti on it, so you might as well spend a couple of minutes looking around on the wall, see what you can find. Now to retrieve my camera that I left up there. What I did was I tied a rope onto it and dropped it down off the cliff, so when I was on the bottom, I could pull it down. Here, let's watch this in slow motion now. Well, that's all. Now it's just a matter of walking back to the car. Thanks for watching.